Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're safe and well and thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. This evening you're going to watch me create some bookmarks and I absolutely love this colour scheme. So this is from my collection or series that's called Queen of Hearts. So there'll be in the top right hand corner a little link for other videos and I'll try and put the rest of the collection there. If you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember, any subscription is valued, but if you want to get notifications of up and coming videos, remember to click that notification bell. What I have done so far is allowed my resin time to cure a little bit. So it's been stood there a little while as I've been working on some of my other projects. And I'm now coming in and just adding the gold to the center. Now this particular gold can overtake your colors. So I thought, well, if I go in the middle and then when I add my black and red, it's got that point of separation and all the colors should come through truly. And you might be thinking, well, Sharon, you said you're working on bookmarks, but there's a little love art at the back. Now that little love art features in another video. It was a prototype and I really did enjoy the black, the red and the gold the way it was, but because it was left over for that project, I wanted to spice it up a little bit so you'll see me keep coming in and adding a little bit to that because I wanted the bottom to be an uh, um, upside down version of what's underneath. I don't think I'm articulating myself but the bottom's going to go black red so the top will go red black so it just alternates that colour. Anyway, look at how beautifully it's pouring. Virtually no bubbles. I am using the Vuba Vista Coty. Um, new to using this resin, still discovering my limitations with it, but so far I am absolutely loving it. You'll see me do the same with the black at the bottom, and then you'll see me just drag the gold through uh, to bring it all together, um, just to add a little bit of feature, and I think it personally works really well. I really do enjoy this, I know I've said that, but let me know your thoughts. Do you enjoy this? Um, has it inspired you to create any bookmarks? Now, I use my bookmarks uh, majority of the time as giveaways when people purchase my art, uh, but I am going to start selling some of these collections because some people have been asking for them. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to relax and enjoy some music now because this is a fairly short video, uh, but people do ask for my thought processes as I'm going through, so I will offer them as I see fit, but I'll try and balance it up so people that's been at work and a bit stressed, this hopefully will relax you. Anyway... I'm Sharon, I'm digressing, but I don't care. Speak to you soon.
So this part is therapeutic, just trying to create some interest. I'm gently just dragging it along the top, making sure that the spike to the skewer isn't touching the bottom because that will mark your resin. <coughs> Apologies. And I have no preset um, idea of what I wanted to do. I'm just seeing how the gold's going to respond. But I'm also mindful that this gold could take over quite a big area if you allow it to. Luckily, because the resin had uh, started to cure, it stays where you more or less put it. And so the more or less the image, I keep saying more or less, I'm more or less saying I'm more or less. Um, the image that you see here, the resin doesn't move that much. And I think that's also the benefit of waiting a little bit with your design uh, and holding your nerve until the end. But that's just my preference and what I like to do. You'll see I'll also come and do a um, top coat. And you don't have to do that. It always depends to me on how far up I fill my mould. And sometimes the moulds, if you're using a fairly thin one, can bend in heat. And uh, what I find is by adding just a very thin top coat, gives a little bit of uh, chunkiness to the bookmarks and gives that stability. Obviously, if you've got very, very expensive, nice books, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be putting a resin bookmark in there because of the thickness and ruining those pages. But... That's just I'm sharing some random thought with you. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put another bit of music on before the end. Speak later. Bye bye. bye. I forgot to say also, when I'm removing the stick, you can just see it there. I'm wiping off in between each colour so that I'm not muddying any colours. <laughs> I just thought I'd better say that hashtag disclaimer.
So we are here to review my Queen of Hearts theme bookmarks and an additional friend. So absolutely love this colour scheme. I hope it's uh, picking up for you, but the contrast between this black and red and gold, just absolutely love. And I'm going to do some more in this collection. So continue having a look where I create. Yes, I find something I enjoy and I stick with a theme, but I think sometimes we rush too easily to get on with other things. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to hit that uh, notification bell if you want to get all my future videos. And always, um, and as always, join my Facebook group if you want to showcase your art. There's a little bit of dust just there, one little thing. Anyway, remember if you want to uh, showcase your art, join my Facebook book, book, book group. It's a lovely community where people are very giving and share all their experience and knowledge and also encouragement. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, make sure you join it. And also, if you want to purchase any of my treasures, visit my Etsy store. Now, none of my work is perfect. It, but it is made with love and I try my hardest to make sure there's no dust particles in there or anything like that. But when you're working in your own home, it's very hard to overcome those obstacles. Uh, now, these do get put into my little pouches. My little pouches, which you will have seen in the video. And this little sign here just adds that little bit of touch. But let's let's show you what the bat looked like. Now, this one was just leftovers. I originally had two, but one's gone missing and I cannot find it. I think Zeus might have taken it out. A little dust there. Uh, Zeus might have taken it out. Look out for more of this colour scheme. Now, this all came from when I created my freeform petals for my roses, Queen of Heart. If you haven't seen that video, pop over and show it some love. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.